What is up guys? It's that GTA fan 720 with a super quick tutorial. Now, many of you guys have been asking me in my VMware workstation video, chats, how do I get into the BIOS of my computer so I can enable virtualization and run VMware? Well, I have the solution. Meaning I'll show you a video. Well, I mean this is the video, but I'm showing you me showing where that is on my specific motherboard. I have an ASUS Z170E motherboard in my computer, but the process is the exact same no matter what kind of computer you have, whether it's a desktop or it's a laptop, you know, whether it's an HP, ASUS, Lenovo, it doesn't matter. Whatever computer, it'll be in there somewhere, probably, if it was made in like the past 10 years. And if it wasn't, then it sucks. It's a piece of crap. You shouldn't use it. Although my laptop is 10 years old and it runs VMware just fine. In fact, my desktops, you know, for some reason my desktop won't run 64-bit virtual machines. Uh, that's something I still need to fix, but 32-bit still works, so that's better than nothing. So, let's get into this. So, I'm on the Windows desktop, so I'm going to shut it down. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm looking through the camera. So, I'm going to restart, not shut it down, restart. And you see this magical key on the keyboard called Delete? Press that. Uh, as soon as your system posts and you see the logo of your motherboard, start mashing the delete key. So, keep hitting that delete key, just over and over. And there we go. We're in the we're in the BIOS. So, in my specific BIOS, it's um, actually I just realized I forgot where it is. Okay. Um, Okay, you know what? This is perfect, so you guys can learn along with me. So let's look in my favorites, although this video is 4K, so I only have five minutes to record it on my phone. Okay, um, I forgot where this is. I actually forgot where this is. Wow. Okay, um, well, this is going to be fun. We're going to discover this together. Okay, no, it's not there. AI Tweaker, I doubt it's in there. It might be... Uh, it's not. Advanced. Okay, here it is. Uh, I think. Platform configuration. No, that's not it. I thought that was it. Okay, great. Um, no, no cutting. You guys are going to learn this along with me so you guys can see everything. Because all these tech tutorials, they're always like, okay, well, we'll make the big jump cut here. And we're not going to show you like this big thing that you need to know. So, screw that. We're showing you everything. Here we go. Okay. On uh, my system, under Advanced System Agent Configuration, it'll, it says, now I have an Intel chipset, Skylake chipset. So you can see where it says VTD. That's Intel's name. I believe AMD, it's called something else, but it's a couple letters and it basically means virtualization. Some boards will even just straight up say virtualization and you can enable it or disable it. So obviously, uh, I have it enabled, so you want to enable it. And it's as simple as that. So enable virtualization, and then we will exit, and we will save changes and reset or save and exit, whatever it's called in your specific BIOS. And once we get back into Windows, we will show you one additional step um, that could cause some issues, but it might not. Um, depending on your system. Sometimes it plays nice with VMware, sometimes it doesn't. And that is the Hyper-V built into Windows. Now, if you do not have a Windows Pro version, if you don't, if you don't have Windows 8, 8.1, or 10 Pro, then this is completely irrelevant and you don't have to worry about this. But I'm on Windows 10 Pro, so in case you're on Windows 8, 8.1, or 10 Pro, uh, then you might have to worry about this. So, go into the start menu, open up the control panel. And once you open up the control panel, go under programs and then turn Windows features on or off. And it will open up a list. And you can see right here where it says Hyper-V. See where it says Hyper-V? Oh my God, go away. So here where it says Hyper-V, we wanna make sure that that is disabled, okay? So turn off Hyper-V, click OK. It will search for required files, and it'll basically add that update to the system. You'll restart it, and you're good to go. So that's it, guys. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. This is that GTA Fan 720 with my tutorial on how to enable virtualization. Hope you have a good one.